Hey guys, we're here today to talk about Venn diagrams. Now, what you might not know is that when we learn, we are always sorting information, taking new information, putting it with old information, helping us figure out what it is that we're looking at, helps us think. So this Venn diagram is a good way to see how two things relate. What we're going to do is we're going to have frogs in one part of the Venn diagram and toads in the other part of the Venn diagram. You're going to take the qualities of frogs and toads and if it only belongs to a frog, you're going to put it just in the frog circle. If it only belongs to a toad, you're going to put it where? That's right, just in the toad circle. What if it belongs to both of them? Yep, you're going to put it in that shared space between the two circles where they overlap. It's a good way to kind of see what we know and to give us a picture of our understanding. That's right, we can create pictures that help us understand things. All right, well, now that we've talked about what a Venn diagram is, it's a way to help us organize data and information so we understand it better. Now, we're gonna make one.